I'd like to thank all of the panelists that have participated in this session. We just have a couple of minutes for maybe one or two questions, if anybody has some immediately available. Yeah, I've got a question for uh, whoever else wants to chime in. This is sort of a, a textured variation of the Fermi paradox that was brought up. So we're talking about Kurzweil's epics of singularity. And in his sixth epic, Kurzweil talks about the universe waking up and being confused with intelligence and with processing. Um, so like the Fermi Paradox asserts this problem of extraterrestrials that we've never encountered and asks why haven't we encountered them if they exist. Similarly with, with Kurzweil's epics, if an advanced civilization is hypothetically capable of waking the universe up, why is the universe not already awake? Uh, no. <laughs> um, I actually hadn't, I, I haven't really, uh, thought about that particular uh, scenario, but I, I would say that from whatever point a civilization is bringing about this waking up, uh, Kurzweil seems to imply that, um, that uh, it will proceed forth from wherever they originated, and they could be potentially far, or far away from us. And I think that the New God argument also discusses this a little bit, where um, uh, you, you know, we shouldn't necessarily assume that just because we haven't heard from from that they're not out there. But um, this waking up, as I understand it, uh, is limited by the amount of matter in the universe um, and uh, how how you can bridge the gap between those broad, broad vast uh, areas of of emptiness. And um, but I haven't contemplated much further on on that particular issue. Um, I actually have a. So Nick Bostrom um, takes the Fermi paradox to lead to the conclusion that the advanced uh, civilizations are not out there, okay? And he, he, he does take into account the perspectives of people who claim to have UFO experiences and stuff like that, and then he dismisses those as evidence, okay? But one of the things we talk about in our paper is that what he fails to consider as potential um, sort of like data for experience of these civilizations is the history of humanities uh, individual in, individuals' claims to have contact with the divine. Okay, so maybe what that can point us towards is that these advanced civilizations are um, capable of communicating with us in ways that's difficult for us to sort of um, say for sure that this is communication from you know an advanced civilization. But these means that you know people have experienced. They claim to have these experiences you know since the beginning of humanity of having these this contact with the divine and um, and so similarly with your question is that maybe that maybe that has happened but that given our you know makeup for whatever reason we're unable to see it or detect it and that we will be when we when we you know become gods ourselves or become neo humans. All right. I'm